let's break this down for you in case you're not super familiar. Franchise tag, very simply put, he'll get paid the average of the top five at the position. Problem, it's only a one-year deal. So he'll get one year roughly $10 million instead of the long-term guarantee, the long-term security, and the long-term benefits. Dave, let me come to you instantly for this question. You think Saquon, superstar running back for the Giants, first round pick, I believe top five pick. He might have been number two. Two overall. Yeah, two overall. I mean, he was a beast at Penn State, and when he is healthy, he's been a beast. Do you think he'd be making the right decision to not sign that franchise tag? I absolutely think he's making the right decision. And sorry if it takes some drama out of it. I, I don't think this is Saquon Barkley angling to get out of New York. Like, Saquon Barkley is going to play for the Giants this year. If I had to guess, he's going to make about $10 million doing it. He just doesn't want to be there in the offseason because in this day and age, this is just about the only way you can express your displeasure with the situation, which nobody's happy about playing on the franchise tag. It's a lot of money. It's no security. It's no long-term guarantee. Mm. And he wants that. And Saquon Barkley's been a good soldier about this. I mean, I know he's had his injury issues, but he's been a very productive player. It's well within his right to want a long-term deal. The Giants were going back and forth. They were thinking about tag, uh, using the tag on Barkley well before they even signed uh, Daniel Jones. Yep. This is your only move as a player. He's not going to forego $10 million. So what will he do? He will think of it as a, as, a, as a warning shot across the bow. Like, hey, I'm not good soldier all the time. Like, I want to talk about my future. I'm not happy with the situation. And I don't have to be there for this, so I'm not going to be. And I think it's a small gesture, but at the very least, it's kind of like, hey, me, I see that Daniel Jones gets his deal. What about me? I would like to be in this conversation as well. You anticipate him holding out? Not meaningfully, no. Again, the franchise tag is $10 million. Introduce me to somebody that is going to say no to 500000 in their banking account every Tuesday. Very few people have done it. Le'Veon Bell famously did do it. Right. Mm. Within the last week, you have talked about what a mistake that was. You're just you're lighting money on fire. I would have to see it to believe it. No, but this is just a way of saying, hey, I would like to talk about my deal. I don't have to be there. I bet my good buddy LaShawn McCoy would tell you, offseason, OTAs for a running back? What are we talking about here? Yeah. What are we talking about? Hey, hey, Saquon, uh, it's the same offense as last year. All the same coaches are here. Daniel Jones is still here. This hole, that hole, and that hole. You good? Cool. Yeah, I think Saquon Barkley can handle that. I don't blame him for not being there at Joy, all. Joy, is he making the right decision? Yeah, this, this is the playbook. He's not going to actually leave any money on the table if it comes down to it. And look... Well, I definitely think the quarterback position is the most important position on the field, and I tend to lean towards paying quarterbacks early, which the Giants did not do, which, in fairness, I wouldn't have done either with Daniel Jones. But they did pay him first, and they gave him a relatively long-term deal, something that Saquon would probably like, sure. something not money-wise similar, but the years in, in four years. I mean... We can all agree Saquon is the best player on the team. Absolutely. We can agree And with that. part of the reason why Daniel Jones had the success that he had this season was because no doubt about it. Saquon had over 1,000 yards and did not lose a single fumble. They had the fourth best rushing team in the league. He had over 1,300 yards, 10 rushing touchdowns. He has been the face of this organization since he's been there. During a bad stretch. Yeah, not an awesome stretch for them, and he's been the face of it. So, yeah, he's, he's perfectly within his right to, to kick, up a little, kick up a little dirt, as he should be the bad guy when you're supposed to be the bad guy. He's not missing anything. Daniel Jones doesn't show up for OTAs. We should all be very concerned. He's, he's supposed to do this. He's not missing anything. So, and he's somebody who's going to take care of his body. Yeah, I, Absolutely. He shouldn't be signing the franchise tag. I'm going to throw it back to Dave, though. Question is, do you expect that eventually he will? Yes. Or is there, there's no possibility of... See, I don't think he will. That's how I was going to wait on yeah. that, but I, because, I don't think he will. You think, think there's a chance he doesn't sign the tag? Yeah. I, well, look, his leverage in getting a little more security, getting a better deal than the franchise tag, getting something more than just one year, is never going to be higher than it is right now. And I understand the Le'Veon Bell comparison, but the fact of the matter is the Pittsburgh Steelers were in a different place yeah. than the New York Giants are right now. They, they weren't, Le'Veon Bell was an important piece of that, but they still had Roethlisberger, they still had Antonio Brown, they still had the, the defense, like they were still a complete team or a capable team without Le'Veon Bell. I don't know that I can say that about the New York Giants without Saquon Barkley. I would also go as far as to say I wouldn't sign the tag. 
Like, Saquon Barkley had the third most touches in football last year. I believe he had the fifth most total yards. Yeah, fifth most yards amongst running backs. I'm not signing that tag because here's the problem with signing the tag. One, he'd be the eighth highest paid running back at the position. Less guarantees than Miles Sanders. The same Miles Sanders who I was better at at the same college and the same Miles Sanders who I'm better at in the league and the same Miles Sanders who I'm better at in the division. So that would be the first thing. The second thing, more importantly, which is harder to understand, it's hard to play in a contract year, man. A contract year like that senior year of college, if you know you're going to the league, you have to do everything right and pray you stay healthy. And Saquon did that. And now he has to do that for another 365, Dave? I just think it would be foolish of him to sign What's the tag. What's the alternative? Alternative is this. We always say Le'Veon didn't want to sign the tag, but the Steelers did offer Le'Veon a long-term deal. Yes. Yeah. They, they, he just didn't want to sign the long-term deal because it only has $17 million guaranteed. Tag had $14 million guaranteed. Alternative, you got to sign a long-term deal. Now, who cares necessarily to what? You got to sign a long-term deal. You've seen it better than anybody else. DeMarco Murray, Ezekiel Elliott. At least they got their money. Really, Zeke got his money. DeMarco had to go to the Eagles to get his money. But they going to just workhorse you as a running back. Get your big bag, and then if you decline, at least you got your big bag. That's true. That depends on the Giants being willing to offer it to him. And fortunately for Saquon, I, I get the sense that the Giants want to get this done yeah. mm -hmm. at their price though mm -hmm. and that's the problem this is look it's a bad time to be a running back it is zeke got cut very early into his extension think about the deals that are that are big in the nfl right now i mean christian mccaffrey's still a great player don't get me wrong he was traded by the team that signed him Let me ask you alvin this. kamara has not been producing since signing that big deal go ahead joy you got a thought yeah i i, I agree but i do think where you are matters still I, I agree with that. Like, their offense doesn't look the same without Saquon Barkley. And when Sa Saquon Barkley is healthy, he is game-changing. Like, there are certain teams where you can, you know, kind of mix and match running back by committee. Uh, Daniel Jones is not that good. He's just not – he's not that good. <laughs> like, right, you great. need Saquon – it's just, just – he isn't. Like, he, he had a nice year last year, and they did well. But let's not get – let's not get ahead of ourselves At here. All. That Saquon Barkley was a crucial. But how part much of, of that. a how much of a bag are you willing to give? Well, I mean that's what's, what this is, I think will come down to, and whether what kind of deal they'll get done. He just wants a long term deal. Like the market is still the market, and it isn't a great time to be running back. But I, I would think this is the best time to be Saquon Barkley. Yeah, in, a, he's in this position that, with the Giants, coming off what he coming came, off the year yeah. that he came up. It's hard be better because right. he wants a long term deal, but he's never been healthy long term. So that's kind of like the dilemma. Answer, last answer me this. If the, if the Giants won't meet his ask, will he sit out? That's my thing. He better not. No, the, 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 yeah. and, and at the end of the day, yeah. it's not fair. I don't like it for players, yeah. but that is the ultimate trump card in this. That's why Le'Veon Bell is the name that we always bring up because he's one of the only people that's ever been willing to do it. Yeah, great point. Great point. Very insightful. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.